We've made something just like this before with a lower die 2 center. This time we're using the lower die 1 center and just like before it's showing a quarter of the part removed. It's a half section so we're going to draw just half of it and revolve it. And it's just a rectangle and another skinny rectangle. So let's go to Inventor and draw what we saw. Rectangle. Always start with the origin. Rectangle. And another rectangle. Trim out the bits you don't need. And now we get to put in dimensions. So from here to here, looks like the entire thing is 1.531. This is 0.156. And the diameters that we're looking for, or the radius, I guess, is going to be half of this, half of 2.125. And half of 1.5625. Let's revolve it around this axis. The hole is on the back of this. So let's make a new sketch. Immediately finish your sketch. Use the point in the middle to make a hole. It's going to be a counter sunk hole based on the shape of this with the major diameter 0.375, which it already is, has a depth of 1 inch, which it already has, and it is quarter 20 unified national core, so quarter inch diameter, 20 threads per inch, unified national course tapped hole quarter 20 UNC. There's a chamfer on the back of this at 0 0.03. Chamfer. 0 0.03. And on the front of this is a fillet at 0 0.031. That's everything for this. Lower die one center. If we check this, lower die one center is made out of steel. Right click, eye properties, physical, steel. Lower die one center. Safe.